making full use of Mum's free trial. We have the last episode of the Apothecary Diaries tomorrow, and I'm not as sad as I thought I would be. Mostly because, because of how bad the Spy Family subtitles were. I really wanted to go back to Yu-Gi-Oh, but maybe not. Tomorrow is also my last sleep here for a few days. I'm looking forward to it. I. It's going to be nice to meet these guys for the first time. Um, unfortunately, the Highland Wildlife Park does not have its red pandas, but <laughs> I will live with the loss. Um, no dedicated vlog for that because there's a lot of people and I'm not going to ask permission for that because that's weird. Um, you might get some shots of it, but I don't expect I'll be on my phone much. Another travel day, here we go. Here we go. Runny tablet. Good morning. Badnock is beautiful. A lot better than uh, the pictures portrayed it, which is a nice change. The rooms are in need of a little bit of maintenance, so there's quite a few cracks in the walls. through the window and seen a thing labelled castration pliers. <laughs>
So the Antler Cafe is closed and I think the proper gift shop as well, so no books. Um, but they have plushies now, a lot more than I think they used to, which is nice, but not for me.
the waist didn't quite go as big as we needed it to, uh, so we we decided to DIY it a little. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this is gonna help me multitask. <laughs> Not to betray how utterly tech illiterate that I am, um, but I do love this. Also the stamp in the corner is the Woodland Park Zoo uh, for all your red panda needs. I don't know man, I don't know. I wish more than like a set, I'm really sorry to discuss weight here but I kind of have to, like I really wish more than necessarily like a set weight that it would just stop fluctuating. <laughs> Because if we had made this skirt just two days ago, it would not fit now. And I am... Um... Yeah. So a friend invited me a few weeks back to the Omnia Fantasy Ball which I think sounds fantastic. It's going on next year. And I think you've probably seen it lying around my room, but I have a custom made corset. And I think for a fantasy ball, I could make something really nice. I have this idea for a very kind of dramatic skirt that I would like to make after the midst project, of course. As usual, <laughs> I don't know what to do up top, but, you know. I pointed out correctly that I'm old enough to manage my own documents, but... <sighs> Time to try my hand at a CV. Last month, literally last month, I talked about doing like a short story, I think, or um, a novelette kind of thing that I had an idea and I wrote down a few notes and then I just kept forgetting about it for huge swaths of time because my memory these days is not great. Um, but I've had this scene in my head uh, of a wolf lady of a sort and honestly I thought that was pretty cool as is but now my brain is going like do you remember Hercules? Do you remember Xena? Why don't we do it? And it's like I am so busy. <laughs> I have three reviews to finish uh, before the 7th of July. I don't got time for this. I have chapters to write. I have videos to make. But... Uh, the temptation is really tempting me. It's almost half seven. And... They're not back from the hospital yet, so I think I'm going to just have to wait and find out how things are whenever it is I wake up <sighs> this month. Man, what the fuck? You know... 
Malta was so cool and I loved going up north. And for someone who only spent like one night away from home and my parents um, back in back during the academy years that was a lot and it was great and it was exciting and I've been very much looking forward to my parents taking a trip later on in the year so that I can have the house to myself and feel what it's like to live here without them and Man, I'm not used to health crashes not being me. <laughs> and this does not feel good. So I'm learning to use the air fryer, which I'm very excited about, actually. Uh, the main thing is timing, and I don't quite got that down yet, but it's nice to be able to, to do stuff, you know? Okay, so this is long enough slightly just to cover that and just about wide enough to cover the the bottom and the top of the book but there are going to be sides anyway um and just just over the the other side that's the front as well the back is going to be a little over two times as long in order to also like flap over the front uh, so I think most of the dimensions are good. I might actually have to, um, what do you call it, put in a bottom bit as well. But I'm mostly happy with it. I am sorry to everyone on my issue 4. But we have time now. We have a schedule now. Things are going to pick up. The sides are going to be really quite exciting and there's one last row before I close it off where it's going to be a little bit more experimental um, but I'm really excited to get started on the sides because that's going to be it's going to be a real test and I'm going to be honest I'm not really looking forward to that. So, discoveries. So I mentioned someone being in hospital and then I didn't give you an update. Um, out of hospital now, I think fine. We haven't talked in a few days. Uh, the house lines are drawn. <laughs> and I'm going to try and cook, which as we know I can do, but I've never done it on my own, so... Or rather, I've never done it unsupervised, so... Like, I literally don't... I know I've made omelets before and the problem is you know like how you, if you write a word enough sometimes you wonder like am I spelling it right? It's kind of that where I know you can put like milk into an omelet and I don't remember if that's how we do it. Anyway. Here's hoping I don't set the house on fire.
Also, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to use like two eggs or three in the omelets that we make, but uh, we're going with one because if I fuck this up, uh, I'd like to fuck up as little as possible. I swear to God, there's something I'm supposed to put in that before the egg goes in. But I don't remember what. I'm pretty sure it's not oil because it's. I'm pretty sure it's not oil. So then, what could it be? You know. So there are still bits of eggshell in this, but I'm not getting them out. So. So lovey. Oh, wait, yeah, if I were making an omelet, I would have had to whisk it. No, it's fine. It's egg. It'll, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let us not dwell on this at all. Yeah, so I think I'm going to stick to the dinner that's in the fridge. Um that I don't have to cook. But what are the odds, do you think, that it's the whites are edible? Good morning, it's a Scottish summer. Uh, I've definitely been awake for too long and I, I'm going to blame that for the state of the egg which is probably going to be as shelly as yesterday's um, and especially if you drop the oh dear Do that. I mean, at this point, if I didn't poison myself yesterday, I'm pretty sure I'll be okay today. You know what? I think that actually looks kind of good. And it's not sticking. Kind of. Mm, okay, so it's sticking. On the bright side, however, Unlike yesterday, I don't have to worry if I'm eating undercooked egg. Because it's definitely cooked. So once again, the length is a problem. I had a feeling because I think I've used 20 for a scarf before. A very, it was too short for a scarf, but it's too long for a book sleeve. Um, concerning uh, that this, this is still a problem. So instinctively I thought 10-ish stitches would do, and that's about 8. Kind of sucks that I didn't go with my gut instinct, but Hey, it was right, and that's something. So initially I was going to say I think this is a bad idea given how short it is. I was going to, I was trying to make like a wave pattern by having like that kind of sweep across. Um, you may have noticed however, we have 11 stitches now in the row and I don't know how I've done that. Listen, the point of 
doing this book sleeve was to test out techniques and so I'm glad on one hand, on the other hand this is like the fourth attempt I made at this. Um, about to be fifth because this is not <laughs> I can't use this oh my god <sighs> so I thought I would be so smart by starting on the second stitch to try and make that wave pattern and this is nine stitches and these three uh I don't know because we had a perfect ten on every other row and suddenly we have nine and three and I have to start again.